Hey guys, Coach P, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is the gallbladder and the keto diet. I've been doing a keto diet for over 10 weeks now. You guys know that. I've heard me talk about it in some of my videos. But what I didn't tell you, I don't have a gallbladder. But what I'm going to tell you is how I work around it with the keto diet right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Coach P here. I don't have a gallbladder. My gallbladder was taken out about five years ago. What the doctors didn't tell me, and I mean didn't tell me, was my eating habits needed to change. I had to learn that shit on my own. What the gallbladder does is the gallbladder secretes bile. Bile is an emulsification for fat. Without that bile coming from the gallbladder, it's not burning that fat up or it's not dissolving that fat. But nobody told me that. Nobody told me that. And I've asked a whole bunch of other people that had their gallbladder removed. Nobody told them either. I had to find this out for myself and my own research. So what I've done is I started taking bile salts. That's right, I said it, bile salts. And I get it from Amazon, from Dr. Berg, bile salts. What the bile salts do is it replaces the bile that the gallbladder is not producing anymore. And those salts help with the emulsification of the fats that you're consuming. Now, keto diet that you guys know I follow is pretty much 70% fat. I don't take a large amount of animal fats in I take a moderate amount of animal fats in, but my fats that I do consume, the fats that I do consume are the healthy fats. I'll say it again, healthy fats. I take in the avocados, I take in macadamia nuts, cashew nuts, almond butters or peanut butters. Those are the kind of fats that I would take in. Not that the animal fats are bad, they tend to go through me a little too quickly and come out a little too violently. So. I don't take a lot of the fatty steaks or a lot of the fat on the meats. I might have it prepared with all that, but a lot of times I just cut it off if it's too much or it depends on how much I've consumed. So the secret recipe, if you don't have a gallbladder, is to take the bile salts. The biggest side effect of not having a gallbladder is excessive weight gain. I gained up to 340 pounds and my diet wasn't that crazy. Because the bile's not being secreted by the gallbladder that you no longer have, your body's not processing that food through digestion correctly. The bile salts will take care of that. Again, I get the bile salts on Amazon. I also use a gallbladder formula from Dr. Berg, and this will help you with the keto diet. This is what I use. You know, you know I'm a no-nonsense coach. Actually, I'm a no-bullshit coach. I give it to you straight bile salts, and I use the gallbladder formula. That's my secret to keep me successful on this keto diet. So with that being said, I'm going to close this video out. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm approaching a thousand subscribers and I'm knocking on that door, guys. Please like and subscribe and share this video. I also have a book out on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. It's my 40 years in this industry. All my knowledge wrapped up into a 28 page book, my sarcasm in it, my brother and I are on the front cover. And I'm also a product rep with Gene Pro. Gene Pro Protein is by far the best protein supplement I have ever used. It dissolves completely in every liquid. You can sprinkle it on your food, put it on salads, you know, sky's the limit. 30 grams of protein per scoop, use Coach P in a discount block, you get yourself 15% off. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the gym. Peace out.